Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Wendy. How are you tonight? I am fine. <laughs> awesome. And you? I'm doing great. Doing awesome. Just working all day. I've I ha I have been on the streets all day driving around. Very, very busy. Traffic. Hmm? Traffic. I dealt with traffic. <laughs> yes, I dealt with traffic in the morning, but it was okay. It was fine. The usual stuff. What about you? What did you do during the day? Remember that the first minutes are to say hello to your classmates. You may say hi. Hello, Christian. Hello, everyone. Um, about my day, I I had a very busy day, and right now I am sleepy. <laughs> really? Yes, I feel tired, teacher, because I have a lot of meetings, and I I don't know. I think the per, the people the people uh, I think people uh, okay, stole my energy <laughs> steals my energy really my energy yes yes and 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 i just had a meeting with american people so i tried to to understand their english and 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 i i i think my brain was burned <laughs> was burned burned yeah. really yes okay. but i'm okay and i'm here <laughs> Well, thank you for being here. That's very important for us. I'm preparing something that I was missing. Okay, so how many are we? We are six. Oh my God, where are the others? It's Friday, teacher, it's Friday. No, but that's not an excuse. I actually- In the party. <laughs> in the party, what party? Nobody invited me. Okay, no, it's not here. Hey, Nelson, good evening. Hey, what's up, Tony? How are you? I'm How's doing great. Going on? What? How's the engine project going <laughs> on so far? You don't want to know. 
You don't want you to have no. days to finish it. Today was the worst day on the project. I was <laughs> I was stolen a hundred dollars. I was I was stolen a hundred dollars. All because I I trusted this guy, you know, he was selling me a set of parts. Mm -hmm. I, I he was selling me a set of parts on a hundred dollars and I took them. Mm -hmm. Um and then I found them cheaper. I found the same parts for forty five dollars. Mm -hmm. So I I had to turn back, you know, and ask him to give him back the money. Of course, he refused. He said he had already spent the money. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> you know. And do you don't you search that part before buying? Um, it's just that he 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 is the only one. He was the only one supposedly knowledgeable about the parts but in the end he wasn't i mean there there i found someone else he actually this, this person who i bought the parts from he sold me like 10 parts he 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 sold me the the spoiler that goes on the back of the car um two windows the seat belts i mean many many parts that i needed 400 dollars Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm gonna be waiting for this other guy to give me back the hundred dollars. So I, I was scammed, you know. I was scammed definitely. Mm -hmm. That's a stealing money, right mm -hmm. there. That's a stealing money. Something that you shouldn't do if you have a business. Mm -hmm. But bad reputation, bad reputation goes mouth to mouth, mouth to mouth. If you do something bad as a as a business owner. It goes, it spreads really fast. I mean, everybody will uh, hear about it. Yeah. So I'm I just going to give him a, a week the most. If in a week he hasn't given the money, then I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm going to do. But it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to give up. You know, I'm not giving up because of that problem. So. Okay. Huh? Hope it's all good. Hopefully, yeah. It's all good. Okay, so how many are we? We are 10. Oh, we are actually 9. So let's do the attendance to get this started. I'm waiting for Manuel to join the class so we can start talking about present perfect. As usual, we're going to work on the on the exercises after reviewing the grammar. Just a minute. I cannot see Manuel on the chat. here as a listener. I understand, Diana. Everybody. We have already started. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna do the attendance while we wait for the others. It's Friday and the body doesn't know it. Yeah, I cannot find Manuel on the chat. Okay, so let's do the attendance first. Um, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. 
Okay. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Please turn on your camera, everybody. Christian Nathalie Erazo Rogel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Diego Armando López Rivas. I'm Here, sorry, Diego Armando López. Yeah, Rivas. Uh -huh. Hey, thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present, teacher. Hey, there you are. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Excellent. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Ok. <ríe> Nelson. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Yeah. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Okay, guys. So let's get this started for once. So tonight we're going to review a new grammar topic as I promised yesterday to Manuel, but Manuel is not here. Still, you know, this will be recorded. So Manuel, if you see this, make sure you study. So let's see. Let's talk about this present perfect. Something that we have to understand is when do we use the present perfect? When do we use the present perfect? What are the uses for the present perfect? Can somebody give me an idea or what do you think? Exactly, most likely for finished actions finished actions, um, many of them past events, past events with the result in the present, a repercussion on the, on the present. For example, when you say she has lost her wallet, she has lost her wallet, that's present perfect for recently finished actions. Let's say that you are invited to a house and they offer you food. They start offering you food, right? Hey, do you want to eat something? And you ate pupusas before you arrived at the house. So you have to say, thank you, I, I have just, I'm sorry, I have just eaten 10 pupusas. Sorry, I've just eaten 10 pupusas. I'm full. I'm full. I've just eaten 10 pupusas. I'm full. Thank you very much. Okay. So that's the first finished actions can you give me another well we will see the the structure in a minute because this is like six seven seven different uses but we're gonna see just three of them um and this has to do finished actions it's recent completed actions as get as well this is a recently completed action i'm gonna do that here Okay, I've just eaten 10 pupusas. I'm just going to leave it there because it's not going to fit here. You just eaten 10 pupusas. Okay. This also works for unfinished actions. Unfinished actions um, 
and it goes from the past until now. This is also related to um, an experience in the past. For example, I've lived in San Salvador. I've lived in San Salvador for 24 years, 20, 20, 23 years. Hold on, 25 actually. Okay, I've lived in San Salvador for 25 years. So this is an experience. Question, am I still living in San Salvador? What do you think? I lived in San Salvador for 25 years. I have lived in San Salvador for 25 years. Am I still living in San Salvador? Hello. No. Uh, I think that you live in San Salvador. <laughs> I'm still. Still, I'm still. still living. So this this started this started 25 years ago, November 14th, 1998. I came to San Salvador from Santa Ana. I was living in Santa Ana before, so I came to San Salvador in on November 14th, 1998. So ever since, ever since, I have lived in San Salvador. Now. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. Also, the, this um, works for life experiences. Again, another example of life experience. Um, could be I or, yep, yeah, I've tried, I have tried shrimps. I've tried hot shrimps once. What am I saying? Can somebody translate this sentence? I've tried hot shrimps once. Yo probé camarones picantes una vez. Ajá. Ahora no es yo probé, sino. <laughs> Quiero aclarar eso. Ajá, yo, a mí me gusta aclarar esto, pues hombre, hablando un poco castellano, ¿eh? Porque pues nosotros no hablamos mucho castellano y tú tienes que decir yo, ¿eh? Ajá, tú has el A, <ríe> nosotros hemos o vosotros habéis, ¿ya? Yeah. So, el verbo have no es solo tener, sino haber. Y ahora lo vamos a ver como a ver. ¿Ok? ¿Make sense? <ríe> Ustedes sabéis, ellos han, etc. So, from that point of view, it makes sense, right? Now, this is very similar to Spanish. Desde esa perspectiva es muy similar al español. Yo he, no puedo decir yo he comer. Yo he comí. Tengo que decir yo he comido. So, we are going to use the third form of the verb. The third conjugation, which is the participle. How do we do that? Well, the third form, regular verbs. This is very important. Regular verbs, past participle, is the same past. Makes sense. If I say walk, walk, I'm going to say walked. And the past participle is walked. Same thing. Okay. Questions? So far, so good? All good so far? 
Okay, and again, irregular verbs are named irregular is because it's the same thing, you know. It is they totally changed. They're so irregular. A very common verb. Do what is the past? Did. Did what is the past participle? Did. Don't. <laughs> don't. I don't. Exactly. Do, did, done. You see, it's very irregular conjugation. Okay, another example. See. So. Is, okay, repeat. So. 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 What is the past participle? So. Sing. There you go. You got it. There you go. So as an example, I think we're good there. Just send you this screenshot. Questions. Do you have any questions so far? Any questions? No. Okay, so there you have. That's like the basics that you need to cover to understand when to use it, okay? Um, ella ha perdido su billetera. Yo acabo de comer diez pupusas. ¿Cómo sería? Yo he comido diez pupusas, pero ese just... Hmm. Ya vamos a hablar de prepositions, me acordás, Nelson, al final, al final de ver la estructura gramatical vamos a hablar de preposiciones. Hay cuatro preposiciones bien específicas y marcadas en ese tiempo. So, we're going to see them in just a minute, okay? Let's go with the grammar. So, let's talk about the structure, the structure of this grammar tense, present perfect. So, let's go first, as we did yesterday, with the affirmations. Okay. An affirmation is composed by, who can help me? What is this, the first particle of this um, structure? The subject. The subject, and then? The auxiliary have or have? Hey, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the, the, the most interested guy. Please. Okay, so have. Good job. Have or has. Okay. Why have or has? Por qué have or has? It's a it's a the base verb. Base form. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. The, For single the third person. Okay. When do I use have? What subject? It's for the for I, the first subject. I okay. It, what, we. We. I, what about you? You. You. They. They. In order. Oh, we. Sorry. We. <laughs> uh -huh. They. They. And they. When do I use has? She and she, he and he. She, he. 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 She. It. He. It. Okay. She and it. Yes. There you go. So if I have I, I'm going to use have. You, we, they, have. He, she, it, has. This is a mental exercise, okay? I, you, we, they, have. He, she, it, has. I, you, we, they, have. He, she, it, has. I, you, we, they, have. He, she, it, has. That's it, and you memorize it, okay? What else do I need after the auxiliary? Mm -hmm. The bear. The bear. The bear. How? Past participle. Participle. The verb in its past participle and then 
the the complement the complement you got it the complement is the like to say uh, the predicado predicado yeah. <laughs> yes. in spanish Jesús, hermanos míos, es verbo no sustantivo. So, sustantivo or predicado, right. I don't know. Okay, so, that's simple. Now, es muy importante entender la gramática así, bien explicada, con el objetivo de que hagas lo que hacen los bichos de hoy. Hoy los jóvenes ya no aprenden, les decía en su momento, así, como escrito en piedra, sino que ellos analizan qué es lo que lleva cada parte de una oración. Y lo único que hacen es mentalmente reemplazar cada parte de la fórmula, digamos. So, let's see some examples. Okay? All you have to do is substitute subject, have or has, a verb, and the complement. So, who wants to go first? I need an example in positive affirmation. Y si te cuesta, sí. si sientes que te cuesta este tiempo gramatical, es tu momento de equivocarte. Se lo digo a todo aquel que está ahorita. Ay, no, que cuesta este volado. Esto es lo más difícil que he hecho en mi vida. Ok, entonces ahorita equivóquese porque vamos a practicar esto por 15 minutos con sus compañeros para que no la chiquen o no lo chiquen. Ok, ánimo, ánimo. Ok, go ahead, Nelson. I have been working here for the oh. last two years. I have been working here for the last two years. Okay. Um, esto no sería presente perfecto. Present continuo. Work us. Present perfect continuo. You got it, man. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this is present perfect continuous. This is presente perfecto continuo. Yo he estado comiendo. Yo he estado hablando. Yo he estado trabajando. So go ahead, Nelson. Wait, wait, wait. Nelson, correct it. I've been. Mm. I have been. Yeah. Like that. I have worked. Oh, and I'm sorry, here for the last two years. I've worked here for the last two years. Mm. Okay. okay. Bien, es eh, súper rápido. Vamos a abordar dos preposiciones matando el chucho tiempo, como decimos los salvadoreños. Vamos a ocupar esta oración que hizo Nelson. Nótese que estamos ocupando la preposición for. Vamos a reemplazarla por la preposición since. Y noten la diferencia. A ver, Manuel. Si ha sido durante o por los últimos dos años, ¿desde cuándo? Desde, ojo, si digo que fue por dos, por los últimos dos años he estado trabajando acá. He trabajado, perdón. He trabajado aquí por los últimos dos años. ¿Cómo sería entonces? He trabajado aquí desde... Come on, Manuel. Don't let me down. <laughs> Don't let me down. Come on, Manuel. Think, think, think. Since, desde. 20. Since 20. 2020. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah, let's say 2020, okay? Because we're just starting, starting 2023. So I have worked here since 2020. So, since, more specific, for a period of time. Again, for a period of time. Since, specific. A date. Got it? ¿Sí se entendió eso? ¿Sí? Ok. Yes. Yes. Pregunte, pregúntame, pregúntame. ¿Oyes cuándo? Pero no me orque. Come on, guys. ¿Cuál es el específico, Tiche? El segundo. Muy bien. Pensemos. Ajá, sí, exacto, Manuel. Porque hoy, ¿cómo lo traducís, Manuel? El segundo. He trabajado aquí desde 2020. 
desde 2020, bien específico. Ok, hasta podría decir, since January 2020. I have worked here for the last two years. For the last two years. He trabajado aquí por los últimos dos años. Puede que no sea un cálculo exacto. Ya. Yeah. General. Mm -hmm. General. It's two years. Ok. Yes. ¿Vemos las otras dos preposiciones? Yes. Ok. Está <laughs> chivo, vea. I have worked here. I have, ahora cambiaría la cosa. I have just, let me see. I have just started working here. Podría decir to work here. I have just started to work here. I have just started working here. Different. Here, le faltó la E al final. Here. Thank you. I'm thinking about her. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have worked. <laughs> I have worked. Okay. Two years already. Estas son las otras dos preposiciones. Just and already. So again, I have just started working here. I have worked two years already. I have worked here. I have worked here two years already. I have worked here two years already. Okay. And for the, the last sentence, it's necessary the already. Um, para, o sea, lo estoy haciendo para eh, enseñarles las preposiciones más comunes. For, since, just, and already. Let me just underline or do mm. something about this so you can tell the difference. So, prepositions that are very common. Where is it? For. Okay. Since. Just. And by the way, it's not just. Oh, it's not just. It's just. It's like an ah. Uh. Okay. Just. Just. Already. And we are missing one still, which is yet. Have you called me yet? I haven't told you yet. I haven't told you yet. I haven't told you yet. Yet. Aún. Okay, so these, these are like the most common and you use them most of all on affirmations for, since, just, already. Okay, questions? Do we move on? No questions. Okay, I'm sending you this to your WhatsApp right away. So this is an affirmative sentence. Let's make another example. Okay, somebody else, another example really quick. Okay, Lourdes. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, it's the rice and the mountain. I'm sorry, again? Uh, Lourdes has uh, rice and the mountain. 
Um, no, arise. Uh, I think. Alive? Maybe. Arise. Arose. Horizon. Horizon. Really? Now, what's the meaning of arise? What is the meaning of arise? Isn't it elevarse? Yes. Okay, so can you elevate on a mountain? Hmm. Maybe climb. 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 Is this a regular verb? Yeah, regular. So, climbed. Wow. Okay. Lourdes has climbed the mountain. I'm sorry, the mountain. Mountain. Sorry, my dog just got the chili piorca. Got it. Okay, so, uh huh. Next example. Come on, come on, come on. Wendy. I have. Mm -hmm. I have worked. Uh -huh. Um, work, work, mm, last. Um, yesterday. I've worked yesterday. Okay. I have worked yesterday. Yo he trabajado ayer. Mm. No. Hmm. Yo he I... Um, I have worked. Mm. More specific. More specific. Okay. Uh, I I have worked. How do you say mucho the... hoy? How do you say mucho hoy? Wendy? Mucho. How do you say mucho have... hoy? No. Much? <laughs> Come on. A lot. A lot. A lot. Today. A lot today. I have worked a lot today. I have worked a lot today. He trabajado mucho oh. hoy. Okay. Okay. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. One last example and we move on with the negative. Please. Next example. Really quick. I have studied for my exam. I have studied. Studied. For my exam. Ok. Bien. Puedo contractuar poniendo un apóstrofe, V-E. Y esa ya es la contracción de este tiempo gramatical. You've. They've. Ok. Etcétera. Teacher, ¿y cómo voy a saber cuando esté así? She's. The same. ¿Ah? It's the same what? Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo is, voy a saber que no es she is ni he is, teacher? The verb a continuation. Ajá, uh -huh, the verb is on, prep, on past participle. That's right. Mm -hmm. She swam. Swum. She swum. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, help me here. Swim, swim, swam, swim. Swam, swam, no. Swam, swam. Yes, I think. Teacher. Hmm. Que no puede ir you. Ah, si ya está, you have. Swam. You know what? She has sung <laughs> many songs. She has sung many songs. She. She sung many songs. She sung many songs. She sung many songs. It sounds like J 
Japanese or something, Chinese. She so many songs. Teacher. Sing sang song. Sing sang song. She has. She has. That's right. She has so many songs. She's she's so many songs. Okay. He is. He's told many stories. He's told many stories. Él ha contado muchas historias. Okay. They've gone on vacations. You've learned. You've learned present perfect. And that's it. You've learned you present perfect. I learned. Huh? <laughs> I've learned present perfect. Okay. You've learned present perfect. So, Lourdes ha escalado la montaña. Yo he trabajado todo el día. Um, he estudiado para mi examen. Tú has aprendido el presente perfecto. Okay. Ellos se han ido de vacaciones. Ella ha cantado muchas canciones. Y él ha dicho muchas historias. Ok. Él ha contado muchas historias. O él ha dicho muchas historias. Ok. Hope you got it. Let's go with negative because time means money. Time means money. Time's running. Let's move on. Where are you? Ok. Give me the negative. Let's go with negatives. Subject. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm going to change this. Let's go with negatives. A negative form. Um, I don't like the red color anymore. It's too, too, too bright. Okay, so, uh huh. Manuel, subject. Mostly the, the subject. The auxiliary. The the negative not <laughs> uh -huh. the bear in past participle okay uh-huh close the complement and that's it and now we have a negative structure Examples. Ok, vamos a poner a prueba su mente súper rápido. Carlos Alfredo. Yes. No he pintado mi cuarto. I, I haven't painted my room. You got it. Ok, let me choose someone else. Sí, Norma Carolina, welcome. I haven't painted my room. Eh, vamos con el siguiente, Norma Carolina. Um, yo no he visto esa película. Yo no he visto esa película. I haven't seen. Excelente. I haven't the movie. seen that movie. That movie. I haven't seen that movie. You could say I haven't watched that movie. I haven't seen that movie. It's okay. Okay, let's see. Silvia Suleima. Vamos a ver. Mario no ha pagado la casa. Mario hasn't paid the house. Okay, no. paid <laughs> the house. Good job. Mario hasn't paid the house. Let me see. Diego, are you there? Kind of. By the way, I really did. I didn't get that. I already paid the house. You already did? <laughs> paid the house. Okay, good. 
Okay, Mario, I mean, Diego, Diego. Um, hmm. No la he vuelto a ver. Oh, no la he vuelto a ver. Están enamorados, ticha. No la he vuelto a ver. Go, Diego, go. Sorry, teacher, I'm working right now. Ah, come on. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Jorge, Jorge? Like it, but... Yeah, it is what it is. I understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. I comprehend. Jorge Humberto, are you working too? I guess he's on his way to pump. He's on his way to home. Okay, he's on his way home. Got it. Okay, um, Christian. No lo he vuelto a ver. I haven't seen. I haven't seen that. Seen? I haven't seen he. Him? Him again? No lo he vuelto a ver. I have seen him again. Any. Uh-huh, any? I don't need you anymore. Yep, I haven't seen him anymore. Mm, okay. No lo he vuelto a ver. Ese anymore, ¿cómo más podría traducir? I haven't seen him anymore. No lo he visto más, no lo he visto ya, no lo he vuelto a ver. Okay. Mm. I haven't seen him again. I haven't seen him anymore. Ya, yeah. ya no lo he visto. That's it. Good job. Questions? How do you say ella no ha llovido? Va? Uh, it hasn't raining. Mm. Okay. It hasn't rained anymore. Oh. ¿Y dónde queda el e y el va? <laughs> hey, it hasn't rained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Hey. It hasn't rained anymore. Anymore, uh huh. Anymore. Right. <laughs> right, uh huh. Go. De hecho, Go. no. De hecho, le hacen, huh? Wait, huh? 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 How do you spell that? I have seen it. Yeah. Huh? Hey. It hasn't rained anymore, huh? Huh? I think that's the spelling. Oh, but this is a question, huh? Hey, it hasn't rained anymore, huh? Okay. Mind this. Que les importe esto porque por lo menos los canadienses tienen una muletilla bien fea. And it's similar. It's muy similar a huh. Okay. So I think you got it. This is the negative form. It shouldn't be that difficult. I'm going to move on to the questions because time... It's running out. And lastly, we're going to talk about the um, interrogative form. Okay, let's go with interrogative forms really quick. Who can give me the structure? I'm seeing it. Okay, I need an auxiliary, which is has, yes. or have, or have, uh-huh. Plus subject. Plus the subject, okay. The pl plus bird and in past part participle. Part mm -hmm. Past participle, participle. Mm -hmm. Past participle. And the complement. Are we missing something? Um, the question mark. <laughs> Don't forget the question mark. Never on questions. Okay. 
hit me, hit me with the examples. Have you seen her? Uh, have you without R? No. Oh, God, yes. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? I love uh, MC Hammer's version of that song. Have you seen her? Okay, nice, nice. Entendí mis referencias, ya estoy bien viejo. Okay, anyways, have you seen her? Another one? Someone told me love. No, but that's already seen. We, we are millennials. It's a young. <laughs> <You're> young. <laughs> okay, give me another example. Uh, have, have you worked, worked hard today? Yeah. Have you worked hard today? 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 Okay. Another one. Another one. Maria Elena, you're so quiet tonight. Has she has she been in here in her house? Has she been home? Tan simple. Has she been home? Okay. Has she been has home? She been... Go ahead, go ahead. Has she, been home? has she been home? Sounds weird, right? Has she been home? Yeah. Has I stayed. I stayed in la casa. Has she been home? Okay. Has she been home? Has she been home? Okay. Marilena. I love your name. Me recuerda un pan que solo venden en Santa Ana. En la... Ah, Diego, Diego, uso. Solo lo venden en la panadería los Eduardos en Santa Ana. Las Marielenas. Yes, teacher, de y, Marielena. solo, y solo ahí le llaman Marielena, que en San Salvador todo el mundo le dice María, María Luisa de Leche. It's like, what? My mom's name is Marilena too. Really? Have you tried that that pastry at Eduardo's? Okay. Next time you go there, they just ask for Marilena's. They're delicious. I mean, ah, I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet. Okay. Next. Just one more. Nelson. Pass. What? Pass? Yeah. <laughs> Has he studied? Ah, we just started something else. Okay. Has he has he been okay? Has he been working? Ah, uh, oh, you go has again. He, have you, has he no. Okay, Has I challenge you. Work? I challenge you. You've been. Has he been? Work. work. Uh, don't think about another verb. You've been. Been. been is your verb. Ha estado el sick. De <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. Has it? Has he been sick? Has he been sick? Sounds weird. Has he been sick? Has he been sick? Has he been sick? Everybody, has he been sick? Has he been has sick? He been sick? Sounds like German. Has he been sick? <laughs> okay. Ha estado enfermo? Has he been sick? Uh-huh. Have they learned? Have they learned? Easy. Uh, Have you learned? Maybe. Has she fallen yesterday? Again? Has she fallen? Has she fallen? Yes. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué no puedo decir ayer? Porque es eh, hoy mismo. Ah, pero, mm, es, es, es de hoy. hecho, vamos a hablar esto y dejarlo bien claro porque es lo más <risa> confuso de este tiempo. ¿Cuándo ocurre? Por eso se le llama perfecto. Puede haber ocurrido hace poco. ¿Qué? Acaba de ocurrir. ¿Qué pasó? Okay. O... 
pasó no. y está afectando ahora. Mm -hmm. Aquí, ¿quién estaría haciendo esa pregunta? ¿Has she fallen? ¿Quién, ¿Quién será que está preguntando por el, por el niño o la niña? ¿Has she fallen? ¿Se ha caído? ¿La niña? ¿Has she fallen? Se ha caído. The, the, mother. A, the mother, a doctor, the father, right? When? Ahora bien, ojo, ¿cuándo ocurrió este evento? Maybe. You don't know exactly, Mario. You don't know. No sabemos. Has she fallen? Um, okay. No, no, I don't know. Okay. Y ahí va la situación. I, I have bought, miren eso, I have bought, I have bought a watch. Aquí no importa el tiempo. Lo que importa es que he comprado un reloj. I have just bought a watch. I have just bought a watch. I've just bought a watch. Ok. So, muy importante contractuar al hablar. I've just, I've, labio inferior debajo de los dientes superiores y hago vibrar el labio inferior. I've, I've, I've. I've just, I've bought a, I've bought a, I've bought a watch, I've bought a watch. Hey, I've bought a watch, I've bought a watch. Hey, I bought a watch. Okay. Hope you got it. Espero que lo hayan entendido. Has she married all the boys? Come again, de nuevo. Has she married all the wives? Has she married? Has she married all the wives? Ajá, esa, ese adverbio de frecuencia no lo puedo ocupar acá. ¿Se ha casado siempre? Hmm. ¿Se ha casado siempre? ¿Qué adverbios de frecuencia puedo aplicar en el presente perfecto? Ah, bueno. You don't know. Thank you. Okay. Has she married any uh, any time? Has she married recently? Como el presente perfecto se refiere a algo que acaba de ocurrir, mira. Mucho sentido, ¿eh? Has she married recently? Has she married a few days ago? Has she married a few days ago? Has she married... That's it, recently, a few days ago. Has she been married? Has she been married? Ojo, has she been married? Ha estado casada. Esto es muy apegado al español. Ha estado casada. Has she been married? Ojo, eh. Dos verbos en pasado participio porque así se habla en el español también. Ha estado casada. Estado casada. Been married. Ha estado ha estado ha estado saltando no, eso es ING se ha cocinado ojo con esto ha estado casado, ¿cómo sería? ok, aquí has she been married o has he been married? Ojo, oh, he or she, right? Has she or has he been married? Has he been married? Has she been married? Ha estado casada o ha estado casado. Ok. Es válido así, profe. ¿De what? De último, has she been married? ¿Ha estado casada? Es válido porque 
está diciendo que probablemente ahorita ya no esté. Uh, no, es una pregunta. Digamos que tú me presentas a tu prima y yo te pregunto, ¿ha estado casada? ¿Ya? En lugar de preguntarte, ¿es divorciada? ¿Es she divorced? Mejor pregunto, ¿has she been married? ¿Ha estado casada? ¿Ya? Get. Muy okay. textual del español al inglés ese tiempo. Oh. Has she been busy? Has she been busy? Busy. You got it. You got the idea. Very good, Marilena. Has she been busy? Al fin. Has she been busy? Have, have you been busy? Have you been busy? Have you been busy? Um, y puedo decir. Have you ever been there? Has. Ojo con eso. I have never been there. Podría incluso contestar. No. I've never been there. Solo quiero enfatizar eso. Para preguntas, y eso aplica para muchos tiempos gramaticales en los cuales puedo ocupar ever or never. Have you ever significa alguna vez. Has estado allí. Have you ever been there? No, yo nunca he estado allí. A ver. Never puede ir en oraciones afirmativas, pero convierte la oración en negativa. Por ende, no puedo ocupar never en negativas. Quiero afirmar mucho que no he estado en un lugar. No, I haven't ever been there. No, I have I haven't ever been there. I haven't ever been there. Ever in my life. I have never. I haven't ever. Es muy fácil equivocarse. I haven't ever been there. I swear I haven't ever been there. Estoy enfatizando el nunca, jamás. I haven't ever. Hope you got it. Let's move on. Questions? Do you have any questions? The other part just to the down. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Hope you got it. We're going to practice just for 10, 15 minutes and that's it. And then we move on with today's topic. It's, it's nine o'clock on a Friday. Regular cloud shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to its tonic and gin. Okay. Wow. Gentlemen. <laughs> who, who sings? Who sings? Sing us the song, you're the piano man. Sing us the song tonight. Who's the singer? Billy uh, Joel. <laughs> Very good, Mario. You got it. Billy Joel, Piano Man. Es tan triste. Hace poco escuché un documental sobre esa canción. Súper rápido porque esto no es relevante, pero una entrevista que le hicieron hace poco y decía que no sabía por qué había escrito esa canción. ¿Puedes creer eso? Y te reto a que veas ese video con subtítulos, entender de qué trata el video, la canción. Te vas a enamorar de esa canción. Es la vida. Él explica la vida. Así. Súper rápido. Ok, so... Let's go in small groups. ¿Cuál, challenge. ¿Cuál canción? Piano Man. <laughs> Piano Man. Piano okay. Man. Billy Joel. Ojo, Billy Joel. Joel. Billy Joel. Okay, so let's go. Challenge your classmate like this. Manuel. How do you say cocinar in English? 
cook. How do you say pollo in English? Chicken. Um, give me present perfect. Okay. Have you ah present perfect? Okay, okay. I have cooked chicken for tonight. Negative. I haven't chicken oh. for tonight. <laughs> Si I se dan cuenta, se olvida el verbo. I haven't, I haven't cooked chicken for tonight. Question. How I cooked chicken for tonight? You got it. Very good. No se les olvide el verbo, no cambia. Siempre en presente perfecto. Um, still. Oh, listener. Mario, Mario dice still. Um, have you still... Um, hmm. No. Still means aún, just like yet. Hmm. Have you still? No, no, no. You couldn't do that. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it. I'll figure it out. Tarea, los que no se la saben. I'll figure it out. Lo investigaré. No. no. Bueno, sí, ajá. Lo, lo descifraré, lo descubriré, me lo encontraré la forma de. I'll figure it out, don't worry. Okay? So you can have, so you can have, so you can get the hand of it. I'm sorry. So you can get the hand of it. Muy útiles frases. So you can get the hand of it. So if you if you didn't understand the present perfect, don't worry. You will get the hand of it. Le vas a agarrar la onda. You will get the hand of it. The hand of it. You will get the hand of it. Come on, get the hand of it. Got it? The okay. The hand over. The hand of it. Look at the chat. Look at the chat, Jorge. The hand of it. it. The hand of it. You can get the hand of it. And I can get the hand of it. I can get it. I cannot get it. Don't worry. You will get the hand of it later, okay? Okay. Let's go. We are going to be three teams. Verb, word, positive, negative question. One, two, three. Let's go. Repeat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hagámoslo. <laughs> okay. Uh, I start. I start the conversation. Do the exercise. Um, may I ask you? What? May I ask you? Que no oh, teníamos yes. que hacerlo como oraciones. O sea, lo mismo que dijo él. Yes. El, la, la oración, yes, luego yes. la palabra y luego. Ajá. The, the, yes, the, the, the saying is for the challenge. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, how do you say limpiar? Clean. Hey. Clean. Uh, how do you say uh, mm -hmm. dormitorio? Bedroom. Bedroom. 
where is it? Uh, room. Okay. Room. I have. I have okay. clean. No, come on, clean. 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 Yes. Clean. Clean my bedroom. Today. Okay. Today. It's false. In, <laughs> example. In negative. Today. I haven't. I. I haven't cleaned. Cleaned. I have. No puedo. I cleaned yes. my bedroom today. In question. In question. Have. Have. Have I. Yes. Continue. Have I. Qué feo se oye, pero bueno. Have I cleaned? Cleaned my bedroom today. You got it. Okay. Has um, plus bear in past part participle uh, and complement. I has I have been I. No, that is present perfect continuous. I have mistaken. I I have mistaken. Uh, ahí está, uh, digamos, ya, ahí, you have used the, the verb. When, and, when I do my homework. Or when I did my homework. When I did my homework. Uh, oh, I have mistaken in my homework. I oh, I have mistaken in the homework. Mis Maybe. Mistaken. Ah, it's the, it's the past participle. 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 I have mistaken the homework. I have mistaken the homework. I have mistaken. Ojo. He mezclado la tarea. He me he equivocado de tarea. O sea, era, agarré el cuaderno que no era. I have mistaken the homework. Yep. I, I have mistaken my homework. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me a, a negative. I mean, I didn't mistake in, in my homework. You have to use uh, present perfect. I not mistaken in my homework. No, it's the same as you say, but just had to add the negative form. You said I had mistaken I, the homework. I just, haven't. Yes. I haven't mistaken my homework. Yes, or give me a question. Uh, Did I mistake my homework or no? No. I mistaken my homework? Yes. Okay. Okay, you have to choose um, another person and give give and give the verb and the word. Okay, Maria Elena, how do you say explode? Explotar <laughs> in English. I don't know. You can Google it. How do you say uh, cantar in English? 
explotar el blow. Cantar. Cantar. Sí. Yes. And how do you say? Uh, zapato in English. Chu. Yes. Continue with, with the exercise. In present perfect. Con esas dos, con cantar y zapato. Yes. Maybe I have got the thing is sung um, with my Hello. Anybody home? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. There's nobody. Yeah. Um, okay. Have you practiced with Christian, Sylvia, and Juan Carlos? Mm, no, yet. Okay. Go ahead and do it, please. How do you say verbal? How do you say palabra? Positive, negative question, okay? Okay, okay teacher. Christian, um, how do you say ver? Yes. Sí. Okay, and the word um, fantasía. Fantasía. Mm -hmm. Fantasy. Okay, give me a sentence with two words. I. Um, okay, espérame, espérame. Creo que estamos confundiendo. How do you say fantasear? No, no, fantasía de... Esa sería la palabra. Ajá. Pero okay. más enfocada iba a, a algún programa de fantasía. Es que justo ah. es lo que estaba viendo. Ok. <ríe> ok. Infantil. Entonces... Is it past participle, right? Right. So, ¿cómo sería la oración que estamos pensando, Silvia? I, en español, I, ¿cómo sería la oración que estoy pensando? Uh, yo he estado viendo an... Ahí programas está. de fantasía. Ajá. Yo he estado viendo, era lo que le corregía Nelson, es ah, presente, presente, perfecto, continuo. continuo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, yo he visto... Okay. okay. I have seen. Uh -huh. I have seen a fantasy program. A mm -hmm. fantasy show, a fantasy program. Exactly. Oh. I have seen a fantasy program. Negative. I haven't seen a fantasy program. A show. Okay. And Sylvia, the verb. And is... Christian, question. Ah, and the question. Uh, have. Mm, have I seen the TV show, the fantasy TV show? Mm -hmm. And now, <laughs> and now, Silvia. <laughs> okay. A bird jump. Uh, no, how do you say saltar? <laughs> jump. <laughs> okay. And how do you say? 
uh, the worship for God, right? In negative, in, in, the, in the church, I have not sung, sung any, any praises for God. And the, the last, the, the, the third sentence is, uh, uh, maybe, why I have not, uh, I, I have, uh, have I not soon any, any gospel. song or gospel to my, to my God. <laughs> To God, how I saw any any song to God. Excellent. <laughs> Next, the order the order of sentence uh, is different. Yes, yes, because it's, it's the, good the, practice the, other other form. Yes, the 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 the, the in question is how I song teacher song or song in past participle sing song? sang song song okay song yeah thank you how I how I any song uh, for God. Uh, it's correct. Um, Nelson, uh, how do you say escalar? Crime. Crime. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, how do you say montaña? No, mountain. Ma mountain. <laughs> mountain. 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 teacher. Ma mountain. Mountain. <laughs> like a song. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, please tell me the sentence. Okay, I have climbed. I have climbed the mountain last month. Okay. Um, I haven't climbed the mountain the last month. Okay. And have I climbed the mountain last month? All right. You got it. Good job. Uh, please ask for us to. Okay. When do you say? Ah, okay. Please. Terminar. Finished. <coughs> Finished. How do you say homework? Eh, homework. Tarea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You already said. Uh, yes. Homework. Okay. The first sentence is in first. Uh, in Simple present. Simple present. In present. The affirmative. Present perfect. Uh, I have finished my homework. Oh, the homework that teacher, that teacher uh, give. Uh, the next is, uh, I haven't finished the homework that teacher give. give. Mm. 
would be teacher a question. Have, haven't you if uh if isn't uh, if i make an equation uh should be the verb in negative also like uh have <laughs> i have i slept or have i sleep haven't you slept ah haven't you slept no ha dormido mm. yeah yeah haven't you slept um haven't you eaten no ha comido yeah, sí that is you got it. It is possible to make negative questions. I was expecting someone to make that question because that's common. Siempre es común tener a uno que pregunta y como hago negativas, preguntas negativas. That's, it is possible. In okay, every thanks. every grammar tense, it's the same thing. Negative on the auxiliary, and you move on. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Jorge, how do you say Ear in, in English. Go. Okay. Uh, how, how do you say vacation in English? Vacation. Ah, vacation. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Okay. Uh, give me a present perfect. Uh, the verb is in uh, past participle. Yes. I, I have gone, I have gone, uh, uh, for my, I have gone to Italy for my vacation. Okay, negative. I haven't gone to Italy on my vacation. Question. Have I gone to Italy on my vacation? Okay, good. Okay, the next one is Maria Elena. How do you say uh, llevar in English? I am good. Carl. Repeat, please. That is, is Carl. Llevar. You are on mute. No. I can hear you. Hola, 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 hola. Hola. Okay. hola. Carrie? Carrie. Goodbye, Carrie. Okay. Uh, how do you say libro in English? Book. Okay, I think we're oh we're missing some of you. Give me just a minute. We're waiting for the others. There we are. 
Great, so we are 14. Uh, today's topic is um, how to design a basic needs assessment instrument. Needs assessment. Does that ring any bell? Again, does that ring any bell? Ringing a bell. Does that ring any bell? Si traduces eso en el traductor, te va a salir. ¿Te suena, suena alguna campana? So it's, it's, it's like a saying, es un dicho, ¿no? Does that ring any bell? ¿Te suena? ¿Te suena? Does that ring any bell? Needs assessment. What does that sound like? What does that sound like? Needs assessment. So think about it. It's an instrument. How 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 do you create an instrument, a needs assessment instrument? So let's see. What is assessment? Anybody? Everybody? Did you achieve some goal? Okay. It's an evaluation. You got it. It is an evaluation. So needs assessment. What is the meaning of needs assessment? Investigate. Figure it out. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> figure it out. It's a, it's a way of saying that you need to figure out. You need to figure out something. So in in January, in in January, you study this process and it's related to I mean we do this logically every day. Every day in your job you determine if you or someone else needs to learn something new. Okay. How do we know? Let's say, let's think um, of a practice, a, a, a practical example. Um, okay, I am developing. It's a kind of survey. It's similar to a survey, but we need to identify what is needed as supervisors, as managers, even, I mean, yes, you have to be in a managerial position in order to conduct a needs assessment instrument, you know, on, on your employees. So first, and I, I'm, I'm gonna start sharing with you some images really quick. Hold on, on the whiteboard because I cannot share full things. And let's see, where is it? Let me just get it really quick. So the first section of this. We're going to study really quick uh, the steps to conduct a needs assessment. And this is a real instrument. Hold on. Whoa. Interesting, I cannot paste this image for some reasons. I'm gonna have to do something else. Bear with me just a minute, guys. I thought this was going to work this way, but no. Work this way. Work this way. Okay, uh, classroom screen. And I hit F11. Then we need a textbook, do we? Yeah. In the textbook, yeah, there we go. Okay, hope you can see my screen and be able to read everything here. There we go. Okay, yep, ready. So please pay attention, this is very important and 
is part of your learning curve. So um, steps two, can you see it? Yes. So good, these are the steps to conduct a needs assessment. This is a checklist, okay, um, of items that you need to consider. You can customize this document. I will send you the document to your WhatsApp for now. And for now, I will just send you this first image so we can be on the same page. So firstly, um, let's read conducting a needs assessment. A needs assessment should be a thoughtful and purposeful, purposeful process. Overall, there are four general steps involved in conducting a needs assessment. You need to plan first, develop the questions, select data collection method, and analyze and prioritize, prioritize, I'm sorry, prioritize the data. So the step one is to plan. What are we planning? Simple, what we are doing. Before developing um, this needs assessment or conducting this needs assessment. Think about this. What is the primary purpose of the assessment? What do you need to know? So let's say that Carlos, um, and, and this is just a, a, non, a fictional name, okay? <laughs> it's not Carlos Carlos. Hold on. Oh, no, it's not going to work that way. Okay. I'm in trouble. Trouble. I'm in trouble. Give me just a moment. Is it, is it the case if you want to increase the productivity in your company, maybe? Uh, yes. But be more specific. Okay, let's go with your example, Jorge. I'll take your word. Because you're, you're an engineer too. So um, what is the primary purpose of the assessment? What do you need to know? Okay, do... We need to increase productivity. Okay. That's the main thing. What do you already know? What existing data do you have? So when it comes to an employee, you have the records, right? The In this case, the performance records. What do you have? performance records, okay, productivity records in the example, Jorge's example, let's see. Let's leave it as productivity records. Check the statistics. Exactly, it's just the records of, I don't know, such a period of time, X period of time. So based on that, you move on. Whose needs are being assessed? Whose needs are being assessed? Who needs to participate so the results of the assessment are representative? So in Jorge, Jorge's example, whose needs are being addressed? The company. The company needs, right? Yeah. Are, are being assessed. So if the company needs are being assessed, who needs to participate on this needs assessment? Am, who am I going to involve? Do I need to involve Jaimito, the the guy who cleans the company? Work, workforce. Workforce? Okay, good. What? So the production workforce? Yes. The... Ad, administrative workforce? Okay. Uh, could be day two. Okay. Do I need to involve the um and the person in charge of the process? The person in charge of the process? Uh, uh, um the positions? Mario? Plazas? Uh, no, no, the, the Process, oh, the, uh... oh, oh, the people in charge of the process that I'm evaluating, yes, correct, yes. If I am evaluating, 
a specific process of the production chain, if I'm evaluating a specific uh, task, and a specific task of the production line, then yes, I have to involve specific people to there are, there are, there are in, in English key person? Key people? Key people? Yes, exactly. And here, oh my God, here you have to consider key performance indicators, okay? So well known, Diana knows about this, KPIs, key performance indicators. This is a metric that tells you how someone is performing, okay? The time for each activity, each task, each process, the time, um, the cost, if this process is cost effective or not, is it taking too long to do this process or not, et cetera. No? There, there's a lot of things involved. So continuing, who needs to be, who needs to participate? Do I need to involve the board of directors? Yes, they, they have to know. Okay, just inform them. Hmm, let's see, let's continue reading. What do you have the ability to change? Now, what, what, again, what are we doing? Do we need to increase productivity? Um, regarding increasing productivity. Improve, okay. Improve the process. Can you improve the process? You can change the process. Okay. I can change processes. Okay. I have the capa the capability the capability of changing processes. I'm the manager and the production line supervisor, so I can tell you know what this process is not effective. Let's kill it. Let's eliminate it from the line. So, or let's improve it this way. Good job. How will you use the information? Well, how will we use the information gathered from the workforce, from the board of directors, if we want? from the product productivity records. How will I use this information? Simple, it's the main subject of the study, right? Is it? Use a uh, method to... To quantify. Okay, quantify data. What resources are available to conduct a needs assessment? So what resources, and this is very important. Some needs assessment um, prototypes, let's say, or, or, or some needs assessment instruments don't move forward because of the lack, lack of budget, the lack of willingness where yeah willingness the lack of willingness from the directors you know when you come with your plan because right now we're just doing the planning we're just thinking okay i need to increase my productivity do i do i need to increase the productivity there's uh jorge of course i i think you know about this but something very important when increasing the productivity what determines if you need to increase the productivity is the sales. Those are the records that you will use, number one, to measure or determine if you need to increase your productivity. How many sales are we performing? Have we ever missed a deadline? Have we ever not been able to deliver, you know, to deliver the production? This happens very often. When you don't plan ahead, you miss the deadline and you don't deliver the product, let's say. Okay, so let's continue. And finally, right, so do we have the, uh, the, the budget, the people and the time? Okay, in other words, resources, resources to move on. Okay, and this is just the planning. What is the next step? 
sorry. I'm, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I missed that. I missed that. No. There it is. I got it. Man, I have to work on this to make sure we don't lose we don't lose it. I'm gonna leave it like this. Like that. Okay. So I'm gonna send you this to your WhatsApp right now so you can have it handy. As it is very important. Okay. So in a few words, that's what we need to do. Let's go with the next stage. So this was planning creating a plan when uh, conducting a needs assessment. And these answers, uh, the answers to these guiding questions will uh, inform will, will inform decisions about what is asked, how it is asked, and how the information is utilized. This will give you a, a wider panorama, you know, a wider idea of what you want to do. The next step, Next step is to develop questions. Develop the questions. And now it comes uh, to what Mario was saying. This is the quiz. This is the questionnaire. The questionnaire that you will conduct. You can conduct it on yourself if you want as well. Let's see. So uh, the usefulness of a needs assessment is only as good as its questions. So if you do the right questions, man, this is going to be awesome. Think about the following guiding questions as you develop your needs assessment. Okay, what should be assessed, as we said before? If it is related to employees, which is very common, the attitudes, the skills, the knowledge, technology needs. What if the employee doesn't know how to use a computer? Let's let's picture Pedro. Okay, there's no Pedro here, right? Okay, there's there's Pedro. Pedro is a messenger in the company. He's the delivery guy. He's very smart. He's a great person. So his attitude is awesome. Skills. You know what? Pedro can speak English very well. Okay. Hey, Pedro. Pedro has been on the company, knowledge. Pedro has been on the company for five years already on the same position. Okay. Why don't we move him to another area? This is your boss analyzing these questions. Okay. Let's ask him, Pedro, can you use a computer? No. I'm sorry, I cannot use a computer. Uh oh, technology needs. Okay. Hmm. Would you like would you like to be the boss of your department? Would you like to be the boss of your department? Leadership ability. Yes, of course, I can be the boss of my department. Okay, so what do I need? To teach Pedro to use a computer. Can I do it? Okay. Will the question yield? Inf, uh, what is yield? Someone yield useful information? Yield is a Pearl Jam album teacher. It's a Pearl Jam album teacher. Yield. No. <laughs> What's the meaning of the word yield? He's sending you the other picture, uh huh? Wake up, guys. I'm just testing you to see if you're paying attention. No. Produce. No. No. Bring, bring up. It's a synonym of produce, bring up. Okay. Rendimiento. Uh, okay. So, yield. That's the meaning of yield. Okay, bring up something else. Okay. Will the respondent be able to answer the question? Man, this is very important. You cannot make difficult questions to someone, I don't know, who didn't go to the university. I mean, you have to be at the same level of the um, participant. Is the question a... necessary? Go ahead. Uh, Jill is a uh, rendimiento. Yes. Uh, it... Uh, and can you use also performance? 
Exactly. Uh -huh. To produce. Yeah, as a verb, it means to produce something. Rendimientos. Yeah. Now, you know what? <laughs> you will see this word if you ever go to uh, the United States, you know, you will see this on the street, on the street as um, I want to show you the image, but I'm doubtful. Like seeing a sign, exactly. I, I don't know what what is the meaning, but I saw that sound with with an X. Oh no, 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 no! Exactly the way we have it. Exactly the way we have it. See this? Can you see the screen? No, right? No. Ah. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna show because it's something else. But anyways, you will see it in the in the as a sign on the road. It's like a triangle. A triangle. A red yes. triangle. It's a red triangle, exactly. And sometimes it says "jilled ahead," "jilled ahead." It's okay. An Yes, ceder el paso. Mm. It's a sign. It's a sign so you can let others uh, go over. Okay, is the question necessary? What questions format is best for gathering information? This is critical. This is critical. Open questions, closed questions, closed questions where the participant can only say yes, no. Open questions where there could be a bright, I mean, a wide, possibility of answers multiple choice a checklist very simple remember that this is a guide for you to create a needs assessment instrument and again a needs assessment instrument is just something that will help you identifying what you're going to do if it is feasible can somebody explain me what is feasible quickly? Feasible. Feasible. Uh, okay, factible. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful Spanish. I'm sorry, but time's running. Okay. So, yeah, if something is factible, something is feasible. That's the whole idea of this instrument um, to determine if you, you should continue or not. Okay. And lastly, select data collection method. How are you going to collect the data? What methods, what format best applies for the data collection in this case? Will more than one format be utilized for data collection? So moving on with Jorge's example, Increasing the productivity. Firstly, I need the sales reports and the balance sheets. Okay, the balance sheets will be helpful as well. And of the previous years, right? The previous periods. I also need the cash flow, the cash flow and the budget in order to determine where the company wants to go, right? as a boss. Now, I will also need definitely the sales report. I can create a graphic, create a graphic and determine if I can use this data in that format. Is that Does that make sense? Now, read, read what it says. I, a needs assessment may take many different formats. The most common formats include survey, interviews, focus groups or key informant interviews. A needs assessment might utilize one or more data collection formats. We're talking about the format where you will col collect the information. The following table, and then we have the two questions that you have to make yourself in order to determine how to collect the data. And the last step, last step is, um, analyze and prioritize data, which is basically um, prioritizing prioritizing 
the data that you have collected. Okay, let me show you that part, which is the last one. Sorry if I'm talking too much, but I had to cover this topic with you. For some of you, this will be like, oh, God, right. The fact is the same picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And lastly, like everything in life, I got the results of the survey of the needs assessment instrument. Okay. Now I need to consider which of the data, what of the data will be useful, okay? What is the primary purpose of the assessment? Again, what do you need to know? This is basically the, the previous information in one sheet, but look for themes in responses. When it, when it says look for themes in responses, it's like, what is the trend? That's a very important question. With the results, what is the trend? What is the tendency? What am I getting back? What's the feedback from the employees? What is the feedback from the data that I collected? So let's say during the last three years, in the case of a company that produces uh, women, women clothes, for example, during the last three years, every Mother's Day is boom. I mean, sales go really high on Mother's Day, okay? On new products, mind this, on new products. Um, and the most famous products on Mother's Day, the production, the sales, I'm sorry, goes to the sky. And we are on January. Do I need to increase my production, Jorge? <laughs> I'm in January, February. I mean, I'm sorry, we're in February, February, March, April, May. We're missing th less than three months, like two months for Mother Days. Hmm. So based on this history, on, on, the, on the historical records, I should increase my productivity at least and then you go with the results. You see, the data will give you the information. Sometimes it's not even necessary to ask anybody. Just go with it, go with the data and determine, okay, I have to do something. The same happens when you evaluate an employee. Okay, uh, Pedro has been producing like this. I mean, Sometimes he goes straight on the target. Most part of the times he's bouncing and then he goes again on the target. So I don't know, I have to find out what's going on with Pedro, right? Why sometimes he hits the goals and most part of the times he's like bouncing up and down, up and down. Hmm, that's really weird. This instrument will help you identify if this person needs assessment. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be your life. Así va a ser su vida, señores. Ya avanzado se vuelve temas de gerencia, temas un poco complejos. Pero si le hayan lógica esto... It's real life. That's real life. Exactly. That's real life and it's very useful. Okay. Well, I have to go. We have to go. I'm staying tonight. Huh. Who is it? Diana is working. Uh, Diego, do you have 10 minutes, Diego? Stood with Christian last time, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I don't want you anymore. Okay, yeah. No, Diego. No, no. Sorry. Diego, you're working. Oh my God, it's true. Jorge Humberto, do you have 10 minutes? Yes. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Jorge. We're staying with Jorge. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Good night.
Good night. Claudia María Meléndez Santos. She's not here. Okay. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. I'm here. And good night. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Still working. Okay. Diego Armando López Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present. Thank you. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, teacher. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Maria, Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Mario Ernesto Villeda. See you on Monday. See you on Monday, Mario. Okay, Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. I'm here. Good night. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good night. Good night, Nelson. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. She was here earlier. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Thank you. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good night. Good night, Blessings. Wendy. Blessings. Could you prepare a topic about rather and prefer? Totally. Be on time tomorrow. I mean, on Monday. On Monday, and I will. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Okay, Jorge, would you rather... <laughs> he left. Would you rather be a mechanic or an engineer? Be an engineer. I would rather be an engineer, really. <laughs> okay, so have you heard before about this topic, the needs assessment? Mm, no, but I, I think it's like common sense, or maybe in my work is related to that topic. Yeah, because you have to do a lot of planning, right? Yes, actually, we are working in a in a big project maybe maybe nation project project of the nation a nation no a national project national project uh they build the building of a dam el chaparral dam a dam building at el chaparral what is el chaparral is it a a quebrada or a, ri a river? Um, uh, it's, a, it's in the frontier, the border of oh, Honduras, with, Honduras Salvador, with El Salvador. In, in the river Torola, in the Torola rivers. In the Torola river, very good. Okay. Wow. That's to produce more energy, right? Yes. Yes. So, so are you participating yes. on, on a I contest? Have been, I have been since uh, uh, 2018. Wow. I have five years in that project. And yes, I, I consider I have the opportunity to, to take uh, some kind of uh, important decision sometimes mm -hmm. uh, so you're uh, you're part of the decision making team yes uh, i i am involved in the how do you say contratar in the hiring the, process the hiring I, process higher ent entership or no, no, no. So you have hire, right? And hiring, the hiring process. Yes, I, I've been participating in that kind of process. Uh-huh, hiring personnel? Companies. 
companies. Man, I, I was yeah. thoughtful. I was thoughtful today because I I passed by I passed by this structure, this mega structure they are building in Redondel de Integración. Mm, okay. And I saw I saw the rods, the steel rods are maybe like I don't know, like this thick. Each steel rod is this thick. Each one. And they needed like a thousand to build a cube, a cube structure for the mixture, you know, the cement mixture mm -hmm. to go to go inside. That that that's the the iron, iron. the iron, iron. to, to make pi pilot to make a pa a pa a pole a pole basically yeah, a pole. the column the columns, right? The big the columns. My God, it's gonna be a huge, a huge project. I mean, it is, it is. It's gonna take a long time for them to finish this sidewalk. Uh, how do you say in, in English? Uh, redonde, uh, paso de nivel. Uh, redonder is roundabout. Roundabout. Mm -hmm. Roundabout. Paso de nivel, overpass, an overpass. 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 Or you can use different level. Pass to different level. Mm, multiple level. Yeah, multiple levels. Overpass. Multi. Oh no, multi level. Let me see. Multi level overpass. In a, in, in Spanish, we can use paso a desnivel. Oh, okay, yeah. Overpass is paso a nivel, right? But no, I I thought you were asking me about the multi-level overpass. Es un paso a nivel, multinivel. It's like, let me think. It's like Hermano Lejano. I think that's the only one we have. Is like two two roads, right? One underneath the other. But in the United States, I have seen in the movies. I mean, wow. It's crazy. It's, it's like a ramen soup, you know. I mean, okay. I will, I would get lost <laughs> trying to get out of there. I, I get lost actually. <laughs> with with, uh, do you use ways? Uh, no, in that time, I, uh, I, I remember there are. Uh, GPS only GPS. Without... There were there was GPS back then. Again, there was GPS. There GPS back then. And also, I forget where I park in my car in. Uh, <laughs> where? Because there are many, in, many in the malls. In the malls. Yeah, I that happened to me once in Galerias. <laughs> and I spent no kidding I spent like 30 minutes looking for the car and it didn't have an alarm mm. it didn't have an alarm so man I couldn't remember what level I left the car on that was crazy that was really bad yeah actually in Mar March 16 on March 16 uh-huh going to to go to to LA, hmm. I will participate. I will be participating in the marathon, Los Angeles marathon. What do you do? Oh, how do you call this? Hold on. Uh, yeah. Jogging? Do you do jogging? Jogging. Yeah. What is, what is the meaning? Walking. Oh. Yes, but I, I I I run I run oh since eight years maybe eight years ago since eight years ago eight years ago so you you have run you have run wait run ran run no you have run for eight years wow does that help to reduce your Wait. Uh, I consider that is correct. I I lost twenty pounds in the first 
uh, year that I practice the the running, mm -hmm. and then I keep in the same weight. That's uh, good. And what about your levels? Your sugar? No, I have some problem. Actually, I start with the the run because I. I I was in a problem with uh, uh, triglycerides. With, with tri tri triglycerides? I, I can't remember that Triglyc word, and I have used it before, triglycerides, yes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I like the, the sweet... Triglycerides, yes. You like the what? The sweet... The... You I like can. sweets. You like sweets. Sweets. Really, we, it's the two of us. It's the two of us. If I if they offer me a cake, it has to be a chocolate cake. <laughs> I mean, That's I love problem. sugar. But actually, I mean, sugar right now, and I don't know if I can finish that. That. Uh, that the project. Career? Before you arrive. No, to to make uh, to to finish that career in in LA in the uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm I'm I have an injury in the back of my knee. Oh. that I'm I'm the same way. I have a tendon, a bad tendon on my left knee, but it happened because I'm I, I'm always sitting right, so mm -hmm. my leg my leg is always bended. And one day I, I stood up the chair and when I did this, the, the tendon was like, oh man. So it was locked. Estaba trabado, no? Was locked. Wow. It hurts. It hurts really bad. But in my case, the tendon is, uh, how do you say, inflamado? Swollen. Swollen. You got us. Swollen tendon, what? Blistered. Is blistered? Yes, but in this, in the case of uh, tendons or flexible ligaments, is swollen is is the most appropriate word. Swollen. Okay, man, nice talk. Well, good luck with that. I believe we will be done. By then, yeah, we're we will be done by March sixteenth. You said right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. By March sixteenth, we we must be done by then with the module. Well, thank you very much for staying, Jorge. It's been my pleasure. Thank Hope you, you have a wonderful night. Thank you. The same for you. Bye bye. See you.